Jumbo guys, this is your guys Zeki and welcome to Just Zeki Show. So guys, uh, today we have a very special topic and a serious one for those people who are planning to travel to Qatar, Dubai, Saudi Arabia or any other country, let's say even Europe countries, Canada. So this topic is about medical fitness test. So guys, you know very well when you go for the interview and you get an offer letter or an invitation letter, you have to provide medical fitness test report so guys you need to be serious and careful about these reports so many people even my friends mabishtangu kutoka dubai qatar they have been sent back because of medical fitness test these guys what they did they know their condition due to ignorance they provided fake documents or they gave fake reports they ended up in qatar to buy because Qatar and Dubai they are very serious in the medical in the medical field they are very serious so they ended up going back or being sent back because of ignorance so the first thing guys you need to know mostly it happens to african countries let's say kenya uganda cameroon ghana and why is it happen to most of the african countries the first thing is the agencies Agencies wanna provide fake documents, they even help you to forge documents or they take you to the fake clinics. Wanna kurifa kwa clinic zao zenya ufungua patao or their friends who are not qualified. Wanna fanya fake tests zenya ziko like competent and you end up coming back on losing your money. And the other thing is you need to know yourself before you go there. You go for the medical test. And you need to know what they are testing test or what they are checking so direct to the first point guys carefully you need to listen to this so the first thing they check during the medical test it's HIV HIV virusi so if you know if you know you are positive and you are planning to travel to Qatar Dubai just know if you go for the medical test you will lose money and the other thing they check is TB Come on, you have TB, or you have been diagnosed with tuberculosis before, and you know you have a scar on your chest, or you just recover fully. Just know, out of Peter, don't even bother to go to Qatar. Qatar, they are very strict and serious about TB and about the medical test. The other thing is STI and syphilis. STI and syphilis. Kama unajua uko na condition kama hiyo, you have to even don't think about it. Okay? The other thing very seriously they check for the ladies, they check pregnancy. Always in a ball gulf. Always at a skumoja. So be careful, don't even bother to lose your money ukienda medical at test na unajua uko na ball. So before you even go for this medical, do self analysis. Ukai ukijua eh mimi nikiana medical Nikofiti, Stapoteza. You see, most of the Kenyan agencies, what, how much do they charge for the medical? 6,000, 7,000, even others, they will charge even 10,000. So imagine you have lost your 10,000. So be careful. The other thing they will check is blood group. Watangalea blood group. There's nothing wrong about the blood group. Actually, it's very good for them to check. They check blood group because of sometimes you have some emergencies happening in Gulf, maybe medical emergencies. They, did, they need you need maybe you will need blood transfusion so now are you blood group yako so they will do a test for blood group so that they know where to classify your medical reports so in case maybe you take the blood definitely wanna join a group a so the other thing and very seriously they will check hepatitis hepatitis c hepatitis b or hepatitis something like that hepatitis so these things mostly they have to check all of them so we can lazy stuff and they find you are fit then you're good to go and what is the purpose of the medical test why do they do the medical test so for you to travel to these countries they have to give you a visit visa not a resident permit a visit visa first like an invitation visa before they make for you a permanent resident permit so ukienda kama Qatar the first thing what they will give you is an invitation 
temporary temporary visit visa ya 3 months which will expire after 3 months so in this 3 months you need to pass your medical test you need to go for your fingerprints by the end of the third month or before even the end of the third month even the first month kama umepita medical test umeenda fingerprint you love a resident permit then they will transfer your 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 residency from temporary to permanent umepata point yangu so if you are traveling to qatar the first thing they will do let me repeat okay they will give you temporary visit visa for 3 months which will expire so in these 3 months you have to pass the medical test so come will provide fake documents so they do not they don't want to undergo the hassle of getting a permanent visa no japita medical so if you go to qatar you pass the medical test then they can give you the permanent visa yes permanent visa or work, work permit so guys in this three months kama umeanguka umeanguka medical so ukifika kata they'll test all the things i told you already so ukianguka medical mara ya kwanza they have like three four five chances depending with your case kama mimi ilikuwa imenihapenia nilienda medical mara ya kwanza chest uh, x-ray nikaanguka nikaenda ya pili like they want to they want to know what is the problem wanta kujua shida yako ni gani specific nikaanguka ya kwanza nikarudia ya pili nikatumwa place nyingine ito alsad like communicable disease center nikatoa kikohozi wakanipima damu and then waka realize there's something wrong with me na hata hukuniambia they don't tell you what is wrong the first thing wakikupata uko na hiv wewe ambulance na gari ya polisi to the airport direct na kama umefail medical what they do unarudisha kwa company yenu they tell your company this guy is not fit to work in qatar so mimi vile nili nilipatikana niko na kashida kidogo nika nikaanda go test kadha and then later i was given some medicine nika nikaekwa nda treatment for around 4 to 6 months ndio ningakuja kupata my residence permit kwa jamaa tulikuja nao january walipata residence permit ndio kwa na stress those people have undergone this process they know they know the stress so don't give up come on and go his story just go to the comment and no watch a comment so guys be careful about medical report let's go back so why do, do why do they do the testing so the first thing they need to know if you are fit to work under the harsh condition you know from africa where they to unajua vile na kwa kamvua kabaridi jua kidogo but you see in qatar or in gulf it's very hot in end up to 48 degrees celsius very hot sometimes 52 depending na masaa ukiangalia kama in qatar 4 am asubuhi jua ishachomoka and it's already hot so let's say you are a laborer unafanya kazi kwa jua kali and you have conditions si utaanguka ukufe so that's why they check if you can work under harsh condition and the other thing they need to check if you can stay with other people au una disease yenye inaweza kuambukiza watu wengine You see in Qatar the accommodation is sharing accommodation like in one room we have like three double beds double cabin beds mtu analala juu chini juu chini so these are women guys so ukiangalia vitanda tatu nne so more than eight guys maybe your room maybe the area you are living is like a hall maybe una share chom na share kitchen una share like you are sharing almost everything so una kuna zizi ugojwa za nyenye mtu anaweza pata like anaweza ambukizwa easily so they have to check carefully before you travel to Qatar maybe the other thing is uh, if you are fit also to handle hard work kama unaweza simama for long hours hakuna haja utume Qatar na hata wewe simama 2 hours so they have to check all these things before you go there even check even in your body body structure naweza kuwa maybe mtu uko 1 GB but some people they go there they are strong maybe ni wameumbwa hivyo but they have to check also health wise kama uko fit So that the other thing you check. Now let's go back. Where why or where is the problem? Ukikuja kwa medical. Where and why 
there's a problem for the most african countries wakienda qatar wanarudishwa kenya like i know some of my friends when you are kenya what is the problem and why so the, the first thing is where is the problem is the agencies some agencies wanakupeleka kwa fake doctors or wanakusaidia kutengeneza fake documents so kufika qatar qatar is very strict on medical test kufika qatar unafanywa test the first thing they find ni chest yako sio clear ama unapata uko positive ama unapata uko na tb so guys you need to be careful about the agencies the agencies are about making profit so where umefika pale umepita interview everything wakiangalia uko na 150k kwa mkono size na uko na medical condition na nakwambia wewe enda sio serious hii hakuna kitu they give you fake documents unafika Qatar hivi unaenda the first thing unaenda ni kufanya the first week unaenda ni medical after medical wewe ndio unaambiwa sasa you're not fit to stay in Qatar sasa umepoteza 150 What do you do? Una decide to kemboy. Some people who have kemboyed, wale wa mekemboy Qatar, some people have run away from Qatar like from their employer. Some of them they have medical conditions like they fail the medical, they decide to run away from the employer, from their accommodation. Now one kemboy, they are just run away outside there. They have medical conditions, they don't want to come back to Kenya, they have lost their money. So guys, you have to be careful before you lose your money. So kiangalia some of the kemboys when you are in Qatar when you are medical conditions na maybe when you are kosa na mdosi or maybe wali kosa na employer they decided to run away so the agencies most of the case the agencies are kona shida and the other thing is self ignorance self ignorance wewe unajua uko na condition unajua ushai kwa na tb you have been diagnosed with tb before but you decide to go and tell the agencies mimi niko sawa ntaenda ntafika So e self ignorance inafanya unarudishwa na unapoteza do. So the other thing also is avoiding medical like the agencies they avoid doing medical. They tell they tell you guys and then itu mtakuwa sawa ama mko sawa iko gi serious nothing serious and then ukifika Qatar ukifika Dubai you are returned instantly ato malizi wiki and you lose your own money. So Uh, the other thing is ukienda Qatar ukifanya medical the difference between Qatar and Dubai in medical Qatar ukifanya medical once kama mimi nilingeu uko once nikapata my residence permit this is my residence permit but it may expire it's a long time so it's usually renewed yearly if they renew yearly they have to pay for this card or this id It's around maybe 1200 qatar real or 100 now the difference between qatar and dubai dubai when they renew their residence permit you have to undergo medical lazima ufanye tena medical tena ndio pewe card if you fail you are deported but qatar ukifanya vile uliingia hautafanya any other medical unless you are a food handler kama unafanya kwa section ya food ama OC or somewhere mali inahitaji ufanye medical you will do food handling medical and the other things but mimi tangunifanye hii medical Qatar sijaifanya any other medical test it's only once when you enter Qatar it's only once but when you are in Dubai when you need to renew this one you have to undergo medical test watangalia hizo vitu zote HIV watangalia tuberculosis watangalia pregnancy watangalia like everything for you to get the id so guys also can to dubai kama it's your first time there be careful usipate na ugonjwa usiende ku engage to any other business and it affect your medical fitness so guys be careful in dubai also what want to put wasana your medical test so so the other thing about kama uh, umefail medical test how many chances do they give they'll give you as many as possible as long as your medical is not serious your, your your case is not serious if example you have uh, maybe something is not clear in your chest they'll try to do a lot of tests so that they will understand what is the problem or where is the problem so ukenda pale kama unajua umefail mara ya kwanza they love to three five tests until they know the problem kama shida yako ni kitu anaweza solve they will solve example mine as i told you mimi nilikuwa na hiyo condition siko mgonjwa mimi kutoka Kenya i know i'm not sick 
I feel I'm not sick but vile nilifanywa x-ray nilirudiwa mara mbili mara tatu mara nne nikatumwa Alsad Medical Communication Disease Center nikapimwa tena kikohozi nikarudi nikapimwa kikohozi until they decided to give me some med they put me under treatment for 4 5 6 months so ukienda pale don't even give up pia kuna chances unapewa ndio upite so the other thing is ukiwa Kenya manze be careful about medical test that is all about medical test eh sina mengi ya kusema so nilikuwa nataka tukuchanua all my friends who are planning to go to Qatar so mkuwe careful about medical okay guys so stick around for more and uh, if this is your first time to see this video remember to subscribe share with uh, your friends share na mabeshte hit the notification key like like give vida comment na the more you comment the more napata morale ya kunda the next video so guys cheers and see you next time